Here it is in all its glory. GT with Fungineers GTFO kit. It's got the Superflux HS Mark III motor in it and the Thor 300 controller and uh, fancy new lights. But everything else is stock future motion. So we're going down. Everything feels nice. First time I'm using that DJI Neo drone. But uh, because I'm not going fast, I'm not exceeding 10 miles an hour. I expect it to be able to handle this. But we'll see. Good thing it's noisy so I can hear if it's behind me or not. Now you guys probably remember in the other videos, I always waited a little bit to let the temperature settle, but the temperature here seems pretty much safe. So let's see if he can find me. Hello, I'm right here. Uh-oh, it lost me. Hey buddy, right here, come on. There we go, there we go, yep. There's, that's me. Oh, shit. Cool. Alrighty, let's do this. All right, yeah, there's really no reason for to wait and let the temperatures cool down because I don't have to worry about overheating. But also, it is not as hot as it is when I, or as it was when I did the other runs. Oh, what am I looking at here? Where's the temperature? 72 right now. So. Today was the hottest day of the whole week, so I figured it would be a good time to do it. So now I gotta really be focused to get this done. By the way, every time you wheel slip and then slow back down, that like really taxes the motor, but actually, yeah, we did it. All right. Last week I tried this and uh, I got off the board several times, so glad I got it done. See how long the battery lasts on the Neo, but so far pretty good. I got two more batteries with me, so I'm ready. But it doesn't seem like I need it. I don't even know what does it do when it's out of battery. We will find out. And as expected, the temperatures are barely even rising. What do we have here in Fahrenheit? 111. That's nothing. Maybe I need to repeat this hill on a GTS with the same 72 outside temperature. But, all right. Let's land this and then I'll repeat it again. Right here, buddy. Two, one. All right. Come on. Move. Move. Jeez. That drone. Don't be so close. Come on over here. Come on over here. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. All right. Thanks. It's like right in my face. 
All right, let's go. Run number two. So this time we're starting with the motor already at 45 Celsius or 112. So giving it a slight disadvantage, but it feels like if we don't do that, at least we don't really learn much at all. But I would assume that I can go up and down this hill pretty much forever and the motors will the motor and the controller will remain in a healthy zone and i could just keep riding so i wouldn't even have to take a break if i ride these kinds of trails non-stop if you're curious about the drone settings so this time i changed it to ride medium high not high it has low, medium, and high, and I'm afraid if I do low, then it'll just be kicking up, kicking up a whole bunch of dust here. So I figured medium is still good. What I don't like is that it's always directly behind me, which is kind of boring for this video. So I gotta see if you can get off to the side a little bit. Let it do at least a little bit of tracking. <clears throat> And supposedly this drone can't follow you if you go more than 15 miles an hour. So for fast riding, it's not really suitable, but for this kind of stuff, it's perfect. Oh, that was close. Ooh, saved it. All right. We did break 50 both on the controller and on the motor and i think the controller does not have thermal paste between the controller and the heatsink which is normally just complete insanity but the thor can pull it off but i did encourage engineers to just put thermal paste there anyway because that way I bet the controller wouldn't be above 35 right now. All right, so that was it. I would say uh, GTFO handles this like a champ, so we don't need to worry about heat at all with the GTFO. And that's really the big difference to the GTV kit, is that the GTV kit gives you the VESC type of features and power but the motor becomes the bottleneck really quickly both in terms of torque if you're a heavier rider but also in terms of thermals if you're doing trail riding with lots of uphills where um, the good old hypercore stator just overheats really easily and uh, gts motor of course solved that problem too but it's a very expensive way to solve that problem and then you still don't have the torque that the superflux gives you but you do get the weight advantage of the gts stator so that is nice anyway i hope this was useful and uh yeah i'm loving this drone this is cool all right see you guys come on buddy come on buddy good boy good boy Nice.